Hello everyone, Rami Lee here once more with a second episode of Undertale. Um well okay to start things off. I, I always I always do this. <laughs> well, first off, I hope you're all enjoying your Friday and that you're looking forward to the weekend. Um anything else to say? Um well I I guess we'll just get right on into it. This cheese has been here quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. Well, too bad for the mouse. Hey, buddy. Zzz, zzz. Are they gone yet? This ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. I've been there. Move it with force? Uh, no. I don't want to be rude. But you're blocking our path. Alright, everyone. We're going to have to have no choice. I had to sit through all that dialogue, though. <laughs> oh, Napstablook. I feel Napstablook is like... Me. <laughs> like, in the game. Like, I, I, relate, I relate a lot to how he feels about life. Anyways, let's check him out. Attack 10, defense 10. This monster doesn't seem to have a sense of humor. Oh, well, I do. Oh, I'm real funny. Haha, -ha, you're gonna have to try a little better than that. Uh... Let's try cheering him up. Oh, I love this game. He looks a little bit better. So let's keep cheering him up. <laughs> it's not that hard to dodge at all. I barely had to move. Alright, third type's a charm. What is the nasty book? Let me try... I call it... Dapper Book. Do you like it? I do. Also, props to you for somehow crying upwards. That's gonna be quite a feat. Hmm. Let's tell him it looks ugly. Nah, I'm just kidding. Oh, gee. I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around. But today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. Bye. <laughs> I hope we see him again. Uh, 6G, huh? Crap. Alrighty. We'll have to farm a bit more gold. Ribbit, ribbit. Sorry. My friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing B. That's right. Pressing B. Well, at least you listen to me. Of course, I'm a very patient person. So yeah, if you, you ever want to talk about anything, Froggit, uh, Froggit A, you know, I'll, I'll listen. Alright, here we go. Me gasp! Oh, Molt Small's already ready to be, uh, mercy. Oh, wait, that's right. Mmm, cha-cha-cha. He just wants to be alone. And do his little little dance. And he's good to go. Well, all right. I heard using borders can add some color to the world. It seems you can choose them in the settings menu before you load your game. Ghetto. However, there isn't a frog-themed border, so it's just pointless, Ribbit. I agree, Froggit B. I have heard you are quite merciful for a human. Surely you know, by now, a monster wears a yellow nape when you can spare it. What do you think of that? Uh, very helpful. It is rather helpful. Remember, sparing is just saying you won't fight. 
Maybe one day you'll have to do it even if their name isn't yellow. <laughs> Hello? I just realized that it has been a while since I have cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday, you might see something you really like. You'll want to leave room in your pockets for that. That's very sound advice, and I almost forgot to go back for our... Uh, <gasps> Did you see? Did you see that? It was Flowey, he's watching us. That little shyster. <laughs> Being me is the best. <laughs> Look at my dance. Yeah, give us that gold. Alrighty, so we'll come to this small web. <laughs> we'll take a spider donut and we'll save that for later. One thing I liked in Deltarune is how you could actually run. Let's go down this one. Hey, buddy. I fell down a hole. Now I can't get up. Go on without me. Wait. Ghosts can fly, can't they? Oh, well. <laughs> it's okay, Nafsabook. Hey! I didn't want to enter a battle. Sing your arms, baby. <laughs> I don't have a care in the world. Well, all right. Anyways, let's go down here because I think that. Yep. All right. Grab this ribbon, and we will equip it. Now we go down here, because I believe that's where I saw the switch. I pressed the switch on my Nintendo Switch. Alright, and we're good to go. <laughs> I don't know how many times I should bring up the recent uh, Game Grump stream of this. But this is quite a humorous part. Aaron. Oh, uh, he's, uh, he's something else. If you can read this, press the blue switch. Ah, uh, Vegetoids, huh? I know what to do with you. I'm hungry. Remember, everyone, always eat your greens. Ow. Why don't you take your own advice, Robbie? Gotcha. And we're done. Oh, what was I doing? So, I guess since I have a bit of time, I can talk about, uh, my, my week. Um, it was nice to actually get, you know, a, a solid week of uploads in. Except for that one day my friend wasn't feeling well, so he came home. Uh, I watch, I always watch my videos last night. I mean, I always watch my videos before going to sleep. And I gotta admit, Rewatching them, you know, after playing them, it, it feels like a different experience. But it sounded like I actually had a lot of fun making those videos. So hopefully we could keep up that momentum. Press the greet. Hey! Vegetoids again! My dinner. Contains vitamin A. It's full of the vitamins and nutrients we need each day. Pat my stomach. All too easy. Uh. Yes. 
I actually almost got confused for a second. Alrighty, let's check over here real quick. Ribbit, just between you and me, I saw Toriel come out of here just a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. We're all too intimidated to talk to her, Ribbit. As you should. Alright, we found this knife. And we'll equip that too. Even though we probably won't be using it. Yeah, oh. Oh dear. That took longer than I thought it would. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? Not a scratch. Impressive. Most impressive. But still, I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Uh, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. Well, let's save right here real quick. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. Uh, what, what was I going to say? Oh, especially my my Xenoblade Chronicles 2 playthrough. Like, going from struggling to just annihilating everyone in our path. You know, even if it's like a group of ten. Like, I, I was trying not to laugh out loud to myself of how absurd how things are now. Do you smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I don't like butterscotch! No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. But, but, but I gotta get home. So I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. Such a cozy home. This is it. Oh, I can walk by myself. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Oh, Toriel. Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. I, I love the music for this area. It's you. Yeah, we never got an answer for that. It's Toriel's diary. Read the circle passage? Sure. Alright, what do we got here? Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. <laughs> the rest of the page is filled with jokes of similar caliber. High caliber. <laughs> ah, the cactus. Truly the most sender of plants. I know that's probably butchering how that's pronounced, but that's just how I pronounce it. Forgive me. Hmm. Not sure of the color scheme of this room. I can understand having your walls a certain color, but must everything in the room match that color? An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. Huh. A box of kids' shoes and a disparity of sizes. Let's go talk to Toriel. But first, let's check the kitchen. Look at that pie. What a nice smell. Too hot to eat, though. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> For some reason, there's a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. Can I eat it? I wonder what brand it was. The stovetop is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. Hello there, little one. The pie has not cooled down yet. Perhaps you should take a nap. Um... Sure. Sweet dreams. Well, I mean, we have had an eventful day through the ruins, so maybe a nap would be nice. Alright, we'll hold on to this for later. Still reading, huh? Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. 
There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still. <laughs> I like her little scrunched up angry face. Still. I am glad you are... I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? <sighs> I'm sorry. What? This... This is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I am reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Sure. Here is an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails sometimes flip their digestive systems as they mature? Interesting. Yeah. Well, bother me if you need anything else. Actually, there is something. How, how do I get out of here? I have to do something. Stay here. You know, if this was a Delta Rune tutorial, she probably what my hide for disobeying her order. All right, everyone, I'm back. Sorry about that. A, a friend decided to stop by ra uh, randomly, so I'll, I'll just delete everything. That happened, obviously. Well, anyways, let's continue. <clears throat> you wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. But I can't. Toriel, come on. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you, do you understand? Go to your room. I can't, Toriel, I, got, I gotta get home. I got things to do. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. You want to leave so badly. Hmm. You are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. And we enter our first boss battle against Toriel. Right, let's check her out. Attack 80, defense 80. Knows, knows best for you. She does. Hey! Acting aloof, huh? Wow, I feel rusty! Ah, got clipped. Oh, 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 oh no, you don't. <laughs> Still got it. Ah! No! It's all, it's all wrong! What are you doing? Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Attack or run away! Ah! Toriel, stop! You're hurting me! Why are you, uh, what are you proving this way? That line always seemed kind of weird. Perfect. Fight me or leave. Oh, 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 don't, don't, don't actually die. Stop it. <laughs> Stop looking at me that way. Ow. Why do you have to burn me? Go away! Tutorial? What's going on? Have you lost your will to fight? Come on, kill me! <laughs> uh, 
Oh, 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 almost got that one. I know you want to go home, but... But please, go upstairs now. I promise I will take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but... We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? <laughs> no, that would be mean. Please, go upstairs. Sad face. Oh, it breaks my heart to see her frowning like that. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. <laughs> no, enough joking around. No. I understand. You will just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Aww. Toriel. Goodbye, my child. I promise I'll make you proud. Anyways, let's let, let's finish this video. Let's get to the next save point. Let's hope nothing got messed up for how long the recording's been going. Well, I guess I'll take this time to say I hope you ah, Flowey. I forgot about you. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you're able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. <laughs> I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die and you'll die and you'll die until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world and let me inherit the power to control it? I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. You sure about that? This is so much more interesting. Ugh. Flowey, no one likes you. Get out of here. Oh, and we exit the ruins. Well, all right. And the chair keeps creaking. There's a camera hidden in the bushes. Wonder why. What an unsettling path of forest. Oh, oh God. I feel like I'm being followed. Oh, oh who, who's there? Quick. We gotta get out of here. We should have stayed in the ruins. Human, don't you know how to greet a new friend or pal? Turn around and shake my hand. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> the old whoopee cushion and the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. 
I'm Sans. Sans the Skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Quick, find that conveniently shaped lamp. Well, I mean, if you say so. Oh, th th this is gonna be easy on me. Sup, bro? You know what's up, brother! It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles! You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Do you want to look? No! I don't have time for that! What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready! I will be the one! I must be the one! I will capture a human! Then I, the great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve! Respect! Recognition! I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard! People will ask to be my friend! I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. Hmm. Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans! You're not helping you, lazy bones! All you do is sit and boondoggle! You get lazier and lazier every day! Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. A uh, skeleton? <laughs> Sans! Come on, you're smiling. I am and I hate it. <sighs> What am I going to do with you? Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself down to the bone. <laughs> Ugh. I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> it's coming. Yeah. Well, okay, you can come out now. Well, that was something. You ought to get going. He might come back, and if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. Right you are, Sans. Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. <laughs> Ugh. Well, that was something. The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. Now, before I save, because I probably have a habit of doing this, I will use this box first. Take the tough glove. Uh, put away this stuff. Um... That's stuff I'm saving for later. Alright. Equip the tough glove. Open the box again. And put away the toy knife. There. That what? Hey! Alright, one up. Oh. Snow Drake, we don't got time for this. See? Laughs! Dad was wrong. <laughs> Maybe he'll bluff me now. Daddy. Daddy, do you love me? Well, I don't know about that, Snow Drake. But, as for all of you watching at home, I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. This has been Rami Lee again. If you're so inclined, feel free to like and subscribe. And, uh, well, see you in the next one. Bye!